To ensure that the workforce was safe from the pandemic, anyone working on the project was required to remain and be accommodated on site during the lockdown. All people we work with have been required to come and be accommodated here on site and no one is allowed to go out, just as no visitors are allowed, until the government announces that the threat has passed and the lockdown has been fully lifted, allowing people to move around. That means the people here will remain until the end of all this. With 1,700 workers living and working at the site, there is heightened vigilance as to the slightest indication that one of them could be showing symptoms of the virus and an ambulance is on standby if such an incident were to occur in spite of the measures. The site's managers have commended the government of Rwanda for efforts to ensure that the pandemic does not affect the project that is now nearing completion and next month a team will arrive from abroad to carry out its first operational test. The Jisagara pit to power plant in the southern province cost 350 million US dollars to construct and is expected to be fully operational by the end of this year, providing electricity to areas that desperately needed to develop. It will produce 80 megawatts.